up everyone and welcome back to the channel in this video i'm gonna walk you through all the updates that have come to mid journey version 6 now these features are really essential because we are so used to using those on version 5.2 but now that they are on version 6 it's become more interesting and there are so many more creative things that you can do with these features so without further ado let's jump into all of these features and talk about how you can take advantage of these capabilities also, as we begin, let's go ahead and type in the magic word slash imagine. And here I'm generating a photo of a woman who has got light green hair and is sitting in a garden of tulips with natural light and has some blue lake around her. Now, that's what we want to generate and we're going to use Midjourney V6. And as you know, Midjourney V6 does really good with, you know, prompt coherence. So I expect this image to look really great. And that's what we see here. We get some amazing images for a woman who is sitting in Tulip Garden and has Blue Lake around her. Now, there are a bunch of photos that I really enjoyed, but I go with this image that we see here. That's you two in the first block. And that's what we are going to kind of work with. And we'll use that as the base image for all the different features that have been released and kind of test everything out. So I went ahead and clicked on you two to upscale that image. Now, that is the image I really want to work with now with v6 we get extra options and these are the new features now there is the ability for you obviously you had the ability to upscale you know subtly or creatively but now we also have the ability in mid journey v6 to do in painting and that's what this section allows us to do and then out painting that allows us to do zooming as well as the ability to pan out to left right wherever we want to and that's what i'm going to show you how you can do in this particular video so let's jump into all of these features now all right, so let's begin by out painting. Now that's all about expanding or zooming out the generated image. Now what we will do exactly is take that first image and then say zoom out by 2x. And that actually gives us this broader image, this wider image with 2x zoom, you know, and this looks amazing. And we can actually continue to do this 2x as many times as we want. I actually did it two more times and you can see I got a way wider view of what this should look like. Now I can continue to do this and that's exactly what you can do with out painting now just remember that you can do 2x zoom 1.5x zoom or you can even choose custom zoom but you have to select a number between 1 and 2 for that to work all right so let's talk about another feature that is in painting that allows you to remix an image that has been generated by adding a new prompt or by selecting specific region now that's what we're going to try out so for the generated image, what we have to do is go click on very strong and then you will have to actually put in the new prompt or some modifications that you want to do to the prompt. So here I said I want orange hair and purple tulips and that's what we have done. And you can see we have this stunning image of this woman who actually has orange hair now and is actually the same woman and the tulips have changed to purple color. Now that's the opportunity for you to actually change things up with this in painting option. There's another option here that allows us to actually change specific things in the photo by selecting a region so here i'm going to select the top region of this image where i have these trees i'm going to say modify that and it allows you to get an input input section you can actually put in an input for what exactly that section needs to look like now so i selected that section and then said okay i want some mountains there and you will see that the modifications have happened and we have this amazing image of this 2x photo now with more mountains and much more you know detail so that looks really good now in painting is where all your imagination and your creativity kind of comes together now this is where you will have to probably do a bunch of different experiments with these options very subtle strong or region but at the end of the day this is what gives you this ability to do in painting now with mid journey version 6 so i hope you enjoy this feature going forward as you try out all these different things now, another feature that has been released is panning that allows you to expand the generated image to the right, left, top or down. Now, here what we have is the image that we kind of modified. What we are going to do is basically pan it to the right. Now, when you pan it to the right, it actually pans out and generates that section on the right. And the image looks stunning this way as well. You can also actually go the other way that is, you know, pan it to the left. Again, you have the option to, you know, do whatever you want to in this, you know, solution where you can go up or down wherever you want now that's an amazing choice to make when you're trying to deal with some new creative choices with the images that you are generating 
All right, so one of the features now I'm really, really excited to share with you is this ability of Midjourney V6 to do style referencing, which essentially allows you to actually take a reference style or an image and then blend that style with another image that you actually just generated or you are trying to generate. Now, say here you want to blend these two images where I have this image of James Bond like a poster and the image that we just generated. So all we will do is go to the end of the prompt and add hyphen hyphen style reference with SRE. EF. And we can even add one or three different style references to the image. So for example, if you have this prompt, a cat with a flower crown, we can just say style reference URL of the first image, URL of the second image and URL of the third image. And then we can even put weights to it. That essentially means that we can actually define which image and which style needs to be weighted more when we are trying to refer to these different images. So here I took the image that we had first created and then remixed it by adding the James Bond image URL. And here I did not put any weight and just produced this result. These look really good, but let's do a little bit more and try experimenting with style reference. So now what I did is I basically added a little bit of a weight to the style reference of the James Bond image and I weighted it by two. And you can see that the style looks different between the image that we saw previously and these. These looks a little bit more stylistically closer to the image that we have in the style blend. Now suppose we want to add another flavor and we have the option to select basically three URLs. Now here I have this different painting art and I want to blend all of these three things together. So again, what I'm going to do is basically refer to these two images in my remix and I'm going to give them particular weights and see how the result kind of looks like. And here we have this image. As you can see, I weighted the James Bond image with a weight of two and the art painting with three to the actual prompt that we had initially. And these are the results. These look pretty good, actually, especially the one in the second block looks really good to me. And that's what I'm going to actually upscale. And that's what we're going to play around with. So I am really excited that you can actually take three different styles of image blend it together to make this amazing artwork and this is the power of style referencing now here's another thing that you can do is you can actually add style weights where you can decide the style reference weight to the overall original image. So you can choose between a number from zero to 1000, zero being the lowest and thousand being the maximum. So when you play around with this, you will get some more interesting images. Now, here I have two images where I actually have style weight as 100 and style weight as 250. And again, the influence of the results changes, but these are again, stunning images that you can actually play around with. So I'm really excited that style referencing is available. This really takes what you can do creatively to another level so i'm super excited for this mid journey v6 version so as you play around with this more feel free to share it on twitter and tag me on it i would love to see what kind of images are you doing and building with style referencing so all right so let's keep going let's talk about another feature that is niji 6 which is essentially mid journey's anime focused model that allows you to create these stunning anime like images now here i have images generated of a cat and a person on the left and a kid samurai and these look stunning you know i'm like really amazed by the quality of the animated images that are coming from niji 6 and these are obviously way better than what we saw with niji 5.2 so again stunning model let's see what else can we do now with niji 6. so here i have the image of this kid samurai wearing pastel outfit and i'm gonna kind of see what I can do with remixing this and applying some different styles. So again, the art that we first saw, let's see if we can style reference that art and create something totally different and unique. So here I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to give it a little bit of weight and kind of change it up. And as you can see, now we have this amazing image, which looks pretty dope and dark actually of a kid samurai. He just went from cute to super dark, but I gave it the weight of three. And again, this is Niji 6 model. And again, all we are doing here is remixing and blending these two images by using style reference again what mid journey v6 has done is brought in these amazing abilities and as, as well as this niji 6 model that allows you to make some really cool images and now take this and go to runway and start making your movies or you know you want to print these out and put it in your home or start printing magazines or books there are so many opportunities for people with creative ideas and mid journey 6 is actually enabling a really really you know amazing opportunity for people to go and do some creative things uh, with text to image all right see another update that has come to mid journey now is that you can type slash 
feedback and when you click on that and enter it's going to basically take you to this feedback page where you as a user can actually give feedback so once you get here you can actually give what your priorities are what are the things that you really want that you want mid journey and the team to really know so you can say um styles from the grand buddha best hotel movie or we can say better lighting conditions you know like we have pan all these things we say we want better lighting conditions right that can become basically a variable and some other things and you can keep adding and you can tell how you want to ra- rank them basically you know um like for example you can move them up or down uh, you can just move them down you give your own priority all right so once you've entered your priorities you can actually submit those priorities so i'm going to just say okay submit these priorities i've submitted that i can actually even come down and rate other priorities from other people so here we saying please train the model f- of cutthroat and swindler from anime akura drive i have no idea i'm going to say neutral i can also say realism is boring resist 1980s manga forever neutral please give us the ability to delete message on mid journey bot uh, at username and it will delete the message not the job so i actually want that i i have some of these images that are hanging in my mid journey bot that i don't want to see sometimes i'm going to strongly agree with that ability to drag and drop folders to reorder them actually good so keep you know we can keep giving these uh, priorities and we kind of rate and what it kind of helps them understand what exactly we want so feel free to use that it's pretty cool so i hope you've really enjoyed these updates and these features that have come out there are some really interesting things as you can see that you can do with it when it comes to imaginations the sky's the limit because it comes down to every individual and what and how they perceive the world and the way they want to generate art also right, if you've liked what i've shared in this video and are really interested in talking to me about it just put them comments in the comment section and i'm going to respond to you if you want me to make some other interesting videos just let me know for some real time conversation hit me up on twitter or x and we're going to talk more about it and also if you've stayed around for a while and you like this video then you know subscribe to my channel it just gives me the motivation to keep making more videos and at the end of the day i'm just learning something and posting it out there so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see more just subscribe and click on the bell notification i guess but anyways until i see you again stay true stay consistent